Hey, what's up followers? Dave here from CNC3D. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a really handy feature that's built to, into our CNC3D command software. And that is basically the ability for you to be able to step through a G-code job line by line, and obviously be able to then troubleshoot or check out exactly what your toolpath is doing. So let's just jump straight in and take a look at how you can actually access this feature. So first thing we'll do, we've just got one of our Nighthawk controllers on our test bench here connected up via the USB connection. So we're just gonna connect here. And basically this particular function only applies when you're using this top section here, which is run a G-code job, um, which will work for both USB and for Bluetooth. You could also do it on Wi-Fi as well. However, it's not really recommended to stream jobs over Wi-Fi because there can be a bit of latency there when doing so. So let's just go ahead and load the job here. Now you always will get this warning within Commander when you are on USB and on a Nighthawk. So we'll just say yes through here. We're gonna choose our little six shape test job that we use for testing things. And let's just have a quick look at the job first so we can see it's just a whole bunch of random shapes there. Um, and basically it's pretty standard. They just have a little bit of depth to them. And that's basically a really simple job here. So let's just close out of there. And now in order to use this awesome feature, you basically just click on the setup slash info button here. And then down the bottom, you've got this setup and prepare this job button. Let's click on that. Now in here, you can choose obviously what line you wish to start from. You can choose to automatically add a dwell whenever an M3 or an M4 is fired as well too. Um, but down here is where you can choose the difference between this. So by default, the run job as normal option will be selected, or you can choose to step through job line by line. So we're just gonna choose that option and click on update. And what you'll notice on the right hand side here now is instead of run job, this actually says step job. So as you would normally do, you would obviously move to where your zero position is going to be. And of course, zero out your job here. And then all you need to do to actually start it is just click on step job. Now, as soon as we've clicked on that here, you'll notice that these three buttons have appeared underneath here. And this is how you can actually control your stepping. So for example, we're currently on line zero because it is waiting to go and we've asked it to step through. So you could obviously click on this arrow here and basically have it uh, step through one particular G-code line at a time. And obviously if you want to, so there is a dwell firing right now, which is the reason why it is paused there. And then if you want to, you can actually go back again, or you can choose to go forward and you can actually watch your machine move through one specific G-code line at a time. Now, if you wanna go ahead and let the job run, you can just hit the resume button here and it will start to stream the job as normal. Now, if you do hit the step button over here again, so you can see this warning has appeared. So your automatic job stream is paused. So basically wait until your motion stop before you decide to continue stepping through. So then now that we've obviously paused it again, we can choose to just step through here one line at a time. And of course, if you just wanna let the job run, just hit the resume button. And you can obviously choose to step or resume as many times as you'd like throughout the job. If there's a couple of particular points in your job that you may wanna just stop and obviously step through and see what it's doing. Um, this may be a handy feature for a lot of you and it has been requested by several users. So we just thought we'd make this video to show you guys how to use this feature um, and how to obviously uh, leverage it uh, to the best of its potential. So I hope this video has been helpful for you guys today and I hope you guys enjoy all the awesome new things that we are putting into Commander as we go. Have a great day and we'll catch up soon.